It kind of sounds on paper quite surreal, but especially with people who didn't know that the theatre show existed, isn't it? It's quite a beautifully strange in the best possible way. <laughs> this, what, the sunshine and leaf? Yeah, I suppose. It's quite, the thing I love about it is Scotland, which is, I guess, notoriously known for doing its really gritty kind of... Excuse me, I have to say hello to Freya. <laughs> She's so famous now that we have, pre we have premieres and she simply can't turn up. Don't She's too glamorous and beautiful. Come on, be glamorous and beautiful. Sorry, You're absolutely I'm gorgeous. Thank you, so do you. Well, I'm just very excited to see you. You haven't changed. <laughs> no, I know. I know. He looks like he looks as before all day long. You charm. Victor, I'm going to take you down here. Yeah. Okay, I know. Exactly. Um, yeah, no, I think it's it's fantastic that there's such a, an upbeat and kind of full of life and really heartwarming and funny thing that's coming out of, of Scotland. It's kind of, I guess, it's one of those things that people are sort of... It's a musical, but it, it's a Scottish musical. It seems, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a rarity, I think. You're kind of used to the ABBA and the Queen ones sort of becoming stage shows and then successful or not on, on uh, film with yeah. Mamma Mia, of course. It, is it in a similar vein, sort of? Someone told me, because I haven't seen it yet, so this is, I'm going to see it for the first time this evening, which I'm really, really, really nervous about, but someone said that they sort of named it McMamma Mia, or something like that, which, my, <laughs> which, you know, um, I personally don't think it's anything like a uh, Mamma Mia sort of production, but, um, yeah, <laughs> oh god, um, I think it's it's beautifully done in the sense that it's kind of it's not this jazz hands uh, number. It's quite you know it's subtle and it's spontaneous and it's just really genuine. I think. Is it fun making something? Oh, it was some of the one, one of the best jobs I've ever done, and it was just the, some like the three best months of my life. Pretty much, it was absolutely incredible. No, oh, sorry, I haven't seen them in so long, and I'm just seeing them from a distance. This is the pals. Tell us about the pals. Uh, you finished the sentence, what happened there? What was the question you asked? Right, nailed it for Brittany. Sunshine, give me an answer. Like, People weren't expected, but Sunshine on Leaf. I couldn't answer that one. I'm, People I'm won't expect you. it, but Sunshine on Leaf will. Yeah, you do it, man. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, no, he's done it. He's yeah, exactly. Gone out of really, really of sweat. Well. Were you aware of the proclaimers? You're obviously aware of the proclaimers, but how big a fan were you? Was it karaoke? Well, I mean, it, I, I mean, you know, as any Scot, the proclaimers songs are like sort of, you know, Scottish anthems. They're, you know, representative of the Scottish culture and all that jazz. And um, yeah, I actually. I was aware of the kind of the classic numbers, but I didn't quite de I didn't quite know their body of work until um, until I got the role, and I then started listening to all their albums, and they're so good. And we saw them live, and they are amazing. They got you know they got some pretty intense stage presence, which was great. Did it feel weird kind of taking that, and then because they changed obviously in the course of the film, to the style that they sang it. So did you feel kind of nervous taking them on? Oh god, yeah, definitely. I remember that they came on set, and we all turned into sort of like these jittery little kids kind of you know singing their songs all sort of you know I don't know like little kids kind of singing that choir it was bizarre but um yeah I hope I hope we've, I hope we've done the, the, like their songs justice I think their songs are so kind of like you know internationally recognized and appreciated so it was um you know I hope we live up to the the expectations of proclaimers fans this film that's me and this film did well in Toronto uh, so is, is there a kind of, I guess there is an obvious hope that it will do well around the world, but do you think this is the sort of film that can get taken up by people around the world? I definitely think so. I think as soon as people get used to the Scottish accent and kind of, maybe with subtitles for certain countries, if they don't quite grasp, what was that? Wait, what? Um, anyway, um, yeah, I, I definitely think so. I mean, things like, I think everyone loves a Scottish film. I mean, from things like, you know, the darker end of the scale, train spotting, to, you know, Angel's Share, and all these kind of gems that come out of Scottish film. I think Scottish film does, it, it's so kind of true to the culture and the tradition of, of what it means to be Scottish. So I think it's, it's yeah, I think it'll be fabulous and very well received worldwide.